Hey guys, today we're back with another SH Figure Arts video. So this one is a uh, Jiren Full Power. I got this in Japan on my uh, December trip. It was actually pretty fairly priced. It was like around 22,000 yen. It equals to 150 US dollars. That seems horribly expensive, I know, but it's like $300 the US on eBay. Figures can get that expensive? No, yes, I knew this. Hot Toys figures are worth like two kidneys and an arm, so that's tame no this is tame compared to like the prices of those but those are very high quality anyway you can see jiren right over here he does come with an effect part i think box art right over here all right let's open this so the reason it was probably cheap like not cheap but like cheap compared to other sellers maybe it's because like it was like partially used i have no idea it did say it was secondhand, but secondhand can also just mean, oh, you bought it, you didn't really open it, you just sell it to someone else. So yeah, here is the figure. Very nice condition if it was used. I don't think it was used though. So that looks very nice right over here. You have the figure, which let me just actually... Here you go, here's the figure. He looks very imposing. He looks like his buff final form in the anime. I'm not sure if he looked like this exactly in the manga, cause I hear some like a bunch of things being different about the tournament of power. And frankly, I hear the manga tournament of power was not that good, at least from my sources. Let's just get into the articulation. Head can move up very well. Ab crunch, decent kind of mid ab crunch, I guess. He can go very far back, almost inhumanly back. His arms can move very well, like a bit tight around like here, but I guess it's actually for the better since those joints are very bad when loose. Legs are fine articulation. By the way, yeah, yeah there's another SH figure arts of Jiren, like the unbattle damaged form. This is like the battle damaged final battle form. So you will see some like marks, some chips, some scratches on like his uniform. Overall, very good detail. Oh, also, if you notice, they also have um, my UI sign Goku over here to like pose around with. I didn't get the silver haired Ultra Instincts. I already, the face is like really weird to me. And also I just ordered the manga Toyotaro Ultra Instinct from Premium Bandai. So that's why I don't have that one. And I'm not planning to get them either. Accessories. So we have, I have no idea what this is for. We have a, a screaming face for Jiren. We have a sort of like a gritting teeth face for Jiren. And we also have probably um, a face of him getting punched somewhere. I don't know. I don't know where. Let's just say he got in the stomach or something. I just want to see if like these are just like useless. Like these weird things he came with. I don't know what they're for. Yeah, yeah. These work fine. These actually work fine. Yeah. We don't actually really need to use these. I don't know what they were in there for, but yeah, very good. You get exactly four heads, three pairs of arms, so six in total. I mean, hands. So right over here are two grabbing hands. I'm guessing this is for the, um, sort of like the fireball or a thingy. So you're supposed to fit it in starting with the thumb. Oh, okay, I see. So you're sort of like supposed to fit this in. Pretty cool. I don't know why they just didn't include a peg. I guess this could be used for other hand purposes too. So that's nice. We have like sort of open hands, some uh, karate chop hands. I don't know what those are used for. What specific pose, I guess. But that is pretty cool. So yeah, let's just pose. If you don't know who Jiren is, by the way, I probably should have mentioned that at the very start of the video. So basically he's sort of like this mysterious dude from um, the tournament of power arc in Dragon Ball Super, I think. Yeah, Super. I say mysterious because we don't really know what kind of race he is. That sounds weird by Gen Alpha standards. But yeah, we don't exactly know if there are more of him at all. I don't really know. I don't think the fans know. I don't think anyone knows unless they make a right theory. And Jiren is basically ditched after the Tournament of Power in canon. So yeah, he's mysterious, but he's pretty cool. He almost took down Ultra Instinct Goku, embodied him like 70 times <laughs> in like the Tournament of Power. So yeah, let's just get to posing. All right, there we go. So this is how it sort of looks. He's very top heavy, I just noticed. So yeah, this is, I don't exactly know what the attack's called with like the fireball in his hand, but it does look super, super cool. So we're just gonna pose him around. Just gonna throw it at someone or like charging at someone like right like this. I wonder if a stand can hold him. I don't know since he's pretty bulky. Can it even, no, it can. So you gotta do one by his legs. Should look sort of like this. Okay, there we go. It should look like this. And that looks awesome, dude. Bald man just running at you with a fireball. That can probably destroy a galaxy or planets. I have literally no idea. But yeah, he does look very imposing in any pose you put him in, I think. Besides this face. 
It just looks kind of cursed. It looks like he's constipated or something. <laughs> and it's almost not funny because it's weird. It just looks like he got punched in the face and he probably did. So let's have sort of like a battle ready pose for him. Oh, that looks nice. I'm gonna have like his weird fireball thingy. I'm just gonna call it a fireball. Cause I genuinely know, I don't, I genuinely don't know what other name you would call it. Is it even ever named? Like Jiren's weird fireball attack? I don't think so. It almost like glows in this light. Like it doesn't actually glow, but it just looks like it glows like the light. We can have a post sort of like this. They're gonna clash with like their energy, balls, beams and stuff. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's have him getting like knocked back by like a punch of some sort. Oh yeah, sounds good, sounds good. So he just blew him away with the Kamehameha basically. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Figure itself, I give like an 8.5. Accessories, 8. Articulation, 7.5. Detail, 8.5. Would that make it a 9? Yeah, it's, it's a 9. It's pretty cool. Really good to have when you have one of your Gokus with him to pose. Pretty fun. Anyways, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. And stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget, like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you really enjoyed it. And hey, leave a comment if you want. What figure to do next? Yeah, and I do want recommendations for good figures. Bye, guys.